Your friendly neighborhood YouTuber is rated PG-13. Parental advisory, explicit content, viewer discretion is advised. Okay, here we are. <laughs> Back here again, guys. We're doing another organizing my toy room. Uh, I believe this is volume 12. Uh, this is how out of control it's gotten simply because uh, I've been taking a lot of figures, been reviewing a lot of figures. Here are some empty boxes. Here are some figures that I've been doing some comparisons with. Um, so, but this one is going to be a little bit different uh, because. I'm actually going to be putting in a bigger display table because as you guys can see, it's a small table. This is where I do all my reviewing from. I'm actually going to put a glass piece over this, a longer glass piece. Move this out of here, put that into my closet over there, and then possibly put in another shelf over here, I think. Not really for sure. I might... Oh, man. I might... You know, a, a part of me actually wants to put this review station, like, in the middle um, of everything. But I kind of like it in the corner. It kind of actually looks good right there in the corner. It fits perfectly in the corner. Um, so, yeah, I might put... It depending, depends on how big, tall the shelf is going to be. Um, I might have to... Oh, man, I might have to do some rearranging. Actually, I might put another different shelf there, like one of these shelves, like right here. I'm not really for sure, man. It's going to be a tough one. So I'm trying to put, like, a wooden shelf. This wooden shelf that I want to paint white. I want to get this shelf out of here, and I want to be able to paint it white. But it might be too tall to wear... Um, I won't, you know, I have to do the measurement of the table first, uh, but I don't know if I want to take the time out and paint it white or not, but it might go into, let me see, how far does it stand up? Let me do a me quick measurement. Yeah, so that wooden shelf might go like right here in front of the window. Um, if I get this one, move this one out the way, and then maybe move the table over a little bit, um, I think that will... That will free up some room over here, and then I'll be able to put a shelf right here because I want to be able to display my new spawn figures. Because I really don't want to put them with the rest of my spawn figures because at the same time, uh, it's just kind of out of control. I don't really have room for them. They don't really fit in because they're really huge figures. So I need another shelf. So I'm possibly going to put another shelf right here, the wooden shelf. I still might paint it white. I'm not really for sure. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to be putting a glass piece over this white piece right here. Actually, I might even paint this right here. Who knows? I'm not really for sure yet. Everything is just kind of up in the air. But first, I have to tackle this right here. Okay, guys, so I cleared off my review station. Uh, so what I decided I'm going to do is I'm actually going to paint this table. Because <laughs> I just want to, be that I'm an artist, I'm going to do like a very like abstract look to this table. Uh, I just feel like it needs it. Uh, I got this glass piece right here. I don't know how well you guys can see it. I'm actually going to put it over that piece right there to have like a bigger review station. There's my backboard right there. So, let's get to it. Alright guys, so here's the shelf. I'm actually going to be spray painting. I don't like the wood shelf, so I'm going to be spray painting. It's a ocean mist. Okay, ladies and germs, here we are, man. It's been a long week, bro. I've been reviewing a lot of figures. I've tried to organize my toy room uh, as much as possible, but things have gotten out of control. 
Uh, I've rearranged my Marvel Legends shelf, so my Marvel Legends are good. Uh, still need to organize over here. Still need to work on the NECA stuff, which I'm going to later on. I'm just kind of wiped out right now. Predator and Alien shelf is a little bit messed up. Um, my Spawn shelf is a little messed up. So here's the shelf that I spray painted. I didn't want to spray paint the entire thing like bluish. I just kind of wanted to leave some like splotches here and there. It looks good. It'll do. I put it. I put this shelf right here for. So I could put my spawn figures, my new spawn figures there, because they're not going to fit into my format. Over here, with the, like the six-inch lineup, as far as spawn figures are concerned. Um, and plus, I don't really have the room, too, so I needed to make another shelf. So I put a shelf right here, right by the window, right by my review station. So I'm going to have enough room because, as you guys see, I made a new review station. I painted the table. Uh, I put glass over it the big piece of glass over it so now i have a big review uh, station right there and it came in very handy too when i was reviewing a lot of these mcfarland spawn figures especially the violator over there and clown so yeah a lot of it a lot of the space extra space came in handy i'll still be able to do my reviews right here um it'll leave me enough space but now uh, i'm gonna focus on my new stuff my new spawn figures put them right there for now, I'll probably leave the top shelf because I don't want the sun to hit them. So I'll probably put my spawn figures right there. And then uh, the rest of the shelf will be primarily for new McFarlane spawn figures. and Which I'm pretty sure there's going to be a lot more coming. So <laughs> so that's primarily, primarily what I'm going to work on. My DC stuff I'm just going to leave here because I actually uh, I pre-ordered a bunch of stuff, man. So... I'll get to it when I get to it. I still want to do some more comparisons. Uh, after this video, I'm probably just going to take a break from toy reviewing because I'm working on some other th other things. I know I said that uh, t many times before. But yeah, I think after this, I'm going to take a break, bro, and, uh, and focus on um, other things. Um, yeah, just take a break from toy reviewing, toy collecting. Well, I'm still going to be out there toy hunting. But uh, just focus on other things, man, because, yeah, I've I've spent a lot of money this month, especially with action figures, like renting, not renting, uh, buying action figures. Now, I wish I could rent the figures. Actually, no, I, no. Um, buying figures, and yeah, man, so uh, I'm going to take a well need a break, work on some other projects that I'm working on, and then... Um, and then that's that. Uh, I'll pop up when I pop up, when I get a new review, or when I feel like doing a review... Um, I'm, I'm kind of undecided right now because I have like a week off, so <laughs> I, I pretty much, uh, I'm going to focus, like I said, I'm working on a, a web series called Gangsters and Demons. If you guys are not familiar with that, go ahead and find it on YouTube. I'll probably leave a link in the, on this page if you guys are interested, but, uh, yeah, anyways, enough rambling. Let's put my spawn figures over here onto this new shelf. Okay, guys, so I finished up my spawn shelf. Um, you know, it's really hard to display these figures, man, because they're so big and bulky and I don't want to put any of the figures in front unless, you know, I get some smaller figs, which I don't know how the hell that's going to work out. I was thinking about, you know, displaying the clown without these fucking guns, bro, but they're, they're a part of them, man. They're a part of his, his accessory. They can fit on my shelf. Um... You know, I don't know what I would do with these guns if I just displayed Clown by himself. But I put um, Gunslinger Spawn next to him. There's Violator. There's my custom MK11 Spawn with the Melbosha blood on his sword. And then you had the head right there of Melbosha with flames and then the hands coming up out of hell right there. It was really It's really hard to display Spawn because... You kind of want Violator to be the centerpiece, but at the same time, you kind of want Spawn to be the centerpiece. and But yet, you don't want to put Spawn in between Violator and Clown. I mean, I prob probably could. Um, I probably could put Spawn over here, then put Gunslinger Spawn over there, which I still might do that. Um, and then you have the, the rest of my um, McFarlane figs. You got my custom Medieval Spawn, Raven Spawn, Redeemer the blood variant of spawn the bloody variant from mortal Kombat with the blood on the axe 
And then you, you have Mandarin spawn right there, bro. So yeah, it's... Um, I'm sure I'll fill it in here and there. It's just I don't want to, like I said, don't want to put figures in front of them and cover up the detail like I did with a lot of my other spawn figures. They're just kind of clumped together, and I kind of hate that. Um, I do need to get risers um, eventually, but with these guys being so big, it's just going to be a pain in the ass. So, you know what? I'm kind of, I kind of want this spawn to be over here and Gunslinger spawn to be put over here. I want to see how that looks. Okay, I do like that setup better. I like spawn, clown, and then violator, and then gunslinger spawn right here. It actually works a little bit more better right there. And then medieval spawn, raven spawn, redeemer, the bloody variant, and mandarin spawn. Yeah, all of them look good, man. Um, this is my new spawn shelf. I got another shelf right here, ready for some more spawn figures. Because I'm fucking nuts. I put a skull up here. I don't know what else to put up here, but it's just going to be chilling there. My custom mate's uh, skull that I'm going to put right there. I don't know what else to put there. But yeah, there's all my new spawn figures next to some of my old spawn figures. Oh my god, man. <laughs> I, need to, I need to fix this shit up. I need to be a little bit more organized. But as of right now, I'm just glad to get my new stuff onto my new shelf. Um, and there you guys have it, man. I'm just going to leave my DC stuff out because... I'm going to do some more comparisons in the, in the near future. Or whenever I have time, I'll come back and and work on that some more. But, yeah, as far as this, everything looks good, man. It's kind of how I like it. It'll do for now. So, there you guys have it. All right, guys, it was my a little video organizing my toy room volume 12, I believe. Um, tell me, you guys, what you make of this video. I'm exhausted, man. It's been a long week, long weekend. Can't wait till next week. It's going to be another busy weekend. But uh, for now, I think I'm going to take a break. I just want to thank you guys for watching in. I'll catch you guys in the next review. Peace out. Your friendly neighborhood YouTuber is brought to you by Gangsters and Demons on YouTube. Check it out.